城市游牧影展开幕片《占领华尔街》，记录了美国近二十年来规模最大的社会运动。他们从政治、经济等等角度，探究美国人民走上街头，抗议贫富差距，凸显金融体制不公平，还有高失业率等等问题。影片两位导演特别来台湾畅谈。纪录片的拍摄甘苦，以及从这场社会运动中看见的自由和民主的价值。二零一一年九月十七日爆发美国近二十年历史上规模最大的社会运动，抗议人士占领纽约华尔街的祖科地公园，将平日国际金融中心变成运动的战场。这场运动被纪录片导演 Aaron a t t i s 和 Audrey Atwell 以及超过百位影像工作者完整记录下来。The absolute main purpose was so that people would have some accurate way of understanding what it was, because it was a huge movement in every city in the United States, and, and still I feel that the, in the United States people did not have an accurate idea of what what it was, what it was for, what caused it. 两位主要发起的导演集结一百多名导演的拍摄片段，完成这部纪录片。光是上千个镜头就把他们搞疯了。We had about a hundred different people collaborating on the film, and so it was a huge logistical process just to stay organized and communicate with people who that many people spread out throughout the country. So as much as we tried to keep it organized and make sure everybody was filming for an outline. There was a certain amount of chaos that was just built into the process that we knew going in we would have, and it was still very difficult to overcome. Just the volume of communicating with a hundred people in a film is crazy. Brooklyn Bridge March was one of the largest arrests in American history. 740 of us. 纪录片《占领华尔街》拍下这场社会运动如何以星星之火蔓延全美三百多个城市。片中访谈多位学者教授，呈现有别于主流媒体的报道，加上公民团体、Twitter、Facebook 等社群网站的实况转播，让民众自行判断真相。纽约祖克蒂公园、波特兰、洛杉矶等地陆续响应。这股集合众人之力完成的纪录片，试图以客观诠释各地的运动。但导演 Audrey 有不同的想法。I think we were sort of playing with this idea of,、um, since there's really no objectivity in film,、um, that perhaps a way to get closer to something objective would be to bring in the perspectives of so many people, and that by combining so many subjective portraits. We could get closer to objectivity, but once we started editing, I realized that even that was a fallacy. Yeah.、Um, as soon as you put two frames together, you have made you have made a subjective decision. If you refuse to move now, chemical agents will be used. 两位导演并没有参与社会运动，而是以影像工作者的身份记录下这场社会运动，看见美国新时代的公民想要改变僵化的政治经济体制的决心。That people in the Occupy movement—it wasn't like they were economists coming, you know, taking to the streets. They were just people, normal people, who were affected by what's going on with their economy and our government. Who, frankly, don't know what to do. Yeah.、Um, they just knew that something had to change, and I find it、um, really challenging. It's about time. 纪录片《占领华尔街》完整呈现二零一一年的社会运动，影片巡回全球各地影展，而这次首度在台湾上映，让我们见证美国的民主历程。